Fora TV. The world is thinking. There was a case against uh, the, um, the Hacker Quarterly 2600, which some of you may know, uh, for uh, linking to code that allowed you to decrypt a DVD. So if you wanted to pirate the Pirates of the Caribbean, you'd use this code called DCSS. Of course, if you wanted to back up your disc of Pirates of the Caribbean, so in case your kid scratched it, you wouldn't be out 20 bucks or 30 bucks. You'd also have to use this technology. But the technology was illegal, uh, at least circumventing the DCSS was illegal under the Digi Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So linking to that code was, uh, was a reason for the uh, MPAA to sue the Hacker Quarterly. And in 2000, uh, a district judge named Lewis Kaplan uh, 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 issued an injunction saying, you have to stop that, uh, you're, you're, you're linking to illegal code. Now there was a computer scientist named uh, Dave Turetsky out of CM, uh, Carnegie Mellon who said, you know, something very odd about this. I'm a, I'm a computer scientist and um, I, I write code all the time. And for me, code is a form of writing, it's a form of expression. It's an odd form of expression. It's a form of expression that a computer, I need a computer to help me interpret and, and, um, and uh, express, but I view it as a form of expression anyway. And when I was reading uh, Judge Kaplan's decision, he was struck by the fact that the judge, uh, the defense tried to say, well, you know, freedom of speech, First Amendment, and they said, judge said, no, 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 no. Um, computer code is not speech because it's executable. That's the difference. And uh, Kretzky said, gee, I wonder if that's really true. Um, and he did a series of experiments that were basically artistic experiments in recreating that uh, DCSS code in a way that was uh, not exactly executable, but sort of executable. So it, um, he put a call out for uh, people who were interested in the issue, activists, computer scientists, artists, whatever, to contribute uh, variations on this DCSS code. And he got all kinds of versions in C and Perl and so forth. Um, the tiniest C implementation, that's kind of stuff that, uh, you know, computer scientists get into. But he also got odd stuff like this. This is the DVD logo rendered as DCSS code. <laughs> and if you look up really close, you'll see that's what it is. But you know, it's, um, it is a picture, and pictures we know are protected under uh, freedom of expression. So does that qualify? Well, uh, there were plenty other examples, um, including um, uh, images uh, that weren't in ASCII, so they weren't immediately, you could scan them in character, recognize them, in which case they'd be executable, but ordinarily they wouldn't be. There were t-shirts, there was a haiku, a beautiful haiku, uh, telling you how to do it. There's the t-shirt and tie. A dramatic reading. Well, okay, if, it's, if you read the code, <laughs> is that executable? Uh, a Star Wars movie where the code uh, moved past the screen, a la the beginning of Star Wars. Um, and uh, anyway, lots of, lots of great stuff. And uh, as a result, um, the... Um, this gallery, by, by, he also kind of chose this word, it terms, uh, to, to, to suggest an artistic context here. It's a gallery of CSSD scrambles. So as Jolene mentioned in the introduction, we have all these artists who are fleeing the word artist and calling themselves designer and creative. What a hideous term, creative. I'm the creative of the dot-com company. And here we have a computer scientist saying, no, 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 I've got a gallery. I'm an artist. And in, in so doing, uh, uh, arguing that there's a slippery slope between executable uh, code and, you know, sort of quasi-executable visual, audio, whatever culture. And as a consequence, uh, the, um, the, the, when the court came, condition came up in appeal, uh, I think it was the Second Circuit said, um, no, uh, this guy Turetsky is right. He came and he did his deposition and they said, we rule that, that code is a form of, of, of expression. It is analogous to speech.